Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Volocopter reveals their design for new urban air mobility aircraft. The DoD plans program to match small UAS makers with investors. And Bell Autonomous Pod Transport 70 achieves first autonomous flight. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned. In partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. Volocopter presented the design for its newest air taxi model, Volo City, their fourth generation e VTOL aircraft. The Volo City has been designed to meet the safety standards specified by EASA, and with a calculated range of 18 nautical miles and airspeed of 60 knots, the Volo City is designed to serve as an on demand inner city air taxi. Over 1,000 test flights on previous Volo Copter generations and market research with several hundred potential customers have informed the design and technical specifications of the Volo City. The result is an aircraft with visible improvements that still stays true to the well-known Volocopter technical and safety features. Volocopter made aviation history with the first manned flight of an eVTOL aircraft back in 2011. Since then, the German company has developed three generations of aircraft and performed public flights most notably in Dubai in 2017 and during CES in Las Vegas in 2018. A public test flight is scheduled for the fourth quarter of this year in Singapore. Now, let's take a quick look at news making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. It's time for today's Unmanned Minute. Westpac Little Ripper drones teamed up with Amazon Web Services to produce what is hoped to be the world's lowest latency video stream via a drone. The companies have been working together for the last six months to reduce the latency. Last Wednesday, live video from a Westpac Little Ripper drone flying off Burleigh Heads on the Gold Coast was streamed at a major conference being held by Amazon Web Services in Canberra, almost 700 miles away. AeroVironment announced its 2019 Quantix and AVDSS University collaboration project. The project's focus is to advance academic research, applications, and crop production practices to improve the future of farming through the use of UAS and advanced data analytics. Through the project, AeroVironment has donated 87 Quantix hybrid drone and AVDSS ecosystems to the agricultural departments of 35 universities throughout the U.S. What is being called the first of its kind transformable unmanned autonomous vehicle was unveiled by robotic research at the AUVSI Unmanned Systems Defense Protection Security Conference. Dubbed Pegasus, the company says the vehicle will deliver greater flexibility and performance to reconnaissance and combat operations while creating a stronger shield for military forces. The Drone Responders Public Safety Alliance, the world's fastest growing 501c3 nonprofit program supporting public safety UAS, has launched a technical experts program to assist public safety and emergency services professionals and agencies who require first hand subject matter expertise in deploying and managing their drone programs. Now, back to the rest of the news. The U.S. Department of Defense will roll out a trusted capital program this fall aimed at strengthening the domestic industrial base for small unmanned aircraft. The project's objective is to get secure sources of capital together with typically small innovative companies that have technology and early stage products in the sectors identified by the Department of Defense and bring the two together to try and get investment in critical areas. It won't be a corporate matchmaking on a one-to-one -one basis, but rather would bring a number of companies that meet DOD needs criteria together with vetted sources of capital and allow them to create their own ecosystems and begin to invest in one another. Bell announced the successful first autonomous flight of the autonomous pod Transport 70 at their testing site near Fort Worth. Bell plans to continue to test the vehicle under an experimental type certificate throughout the remainder of the year. APT-70 is part of the EV toll family of vehicles Bell is developing and can reach speeds of more than 100 miles per hour and has a baseline payload capability of 70 pounds. 
Bell APT systems allow for flexible mission capabilities while keeping operations simple, efficient, and fast. They are capable of twice the speed and range of a conventional multi-rotor. The vehicle is designed for rapid deployment, quick reconfiguration, and nimble battery swap and recharge. Through the NASA system integration and operationalization demonstration activity, Bell will use the APT-70 to demonstrate a simulated commercial mission in the National Airspace System and conduct beyond visual line of sight flight operations. The demonstration is expected to be held in mid-2020. And that wraps up this week's Airborne Unmanned. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe, like, and tweet us. For more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, check out auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. I hope you had a great day and come back tomorrow for an episode of Airborne Unlimited.